Now, it's been nearly eight months since uh, Matthew Perry died in an ongoing investigation into the actor's death has found that multiple people should be charged. A law enforcement source who has been working on the probe told the media that the case was nearing, nearing its conclusion. Police believe charges could be laid concerning uh, the U.S. actor's accidental death, aged 54. The U.S. attorney's office will make the final decision on whether there is sufficient evidence to press charges. The LAPD officials have confirmed to the media that the, that the department is still actively working on the investigation. His manager uh, has also initially ruled out the, it to be an accidental a case of death. The friend star died on October 28th in May. The police department was working with the Drug Enforcement Administration and the U.S. Postal Inspection Service into why Perry had so much ketamine in his system when he died in October. Now, according to Perry's autopsy, trace amounts of ketamine uh, were detected in his stomach. The exact method of intake is still unknown. Ketamine is a disassociative anesthetic drug uh, with established medical and surgical users. Now, according to the autopsy, Perry reportedly received ketamine infusion therapy for depression and anxiety and other conditions that contributed to his death, including coronary artery disease. Prescription medications and loose pills were also found at his residence. The case has also been moved to the LAPD Robbery Homicide Division, which is not uncommon due to the high-profile nature of the agency's cases. Perry, who was born in Massachusetts and raised in Canada, gained international recognition with his portrayal as Chandler Bing in the sitcom Friends. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.